Culture of 3D Liver Spheroids Day 1 Spheroid Plate Setup Medium is poured off the monolayer of hepatocytes. The cell layer is then washed in 5 millilitres of PBS or phosphate buffered saline. PBS is then discarded by pouring. Five millilitres of pre-warmed 0.1% trypsin EGTA is added to the cell monolayer. It should be ensured that all cells are covered by trypsin EGTA. Cells are then returned to a 37 degrees C, 5% CO2 humidified incubator for 8 to 10 minutes. A volume of fresh culture medium is added to the cell suspension. This will help to neutralise the effects of trypsin, preventing overtrypsinization of cells. The cell suspension is then transferred to a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. The cell suspension is then centrifuged for 5 minutes at 154 RCF. The cell pellet should be clearly visible following centrifugation. The supernatant is then discarded by pouring, leaving the cell pellet at the base of the tube. The cell pellet is then resuspended in fresh medium. Tripan blue solution is prepared. This is used to count the number of live and dead cells within the cell population. Tripan blue is mixed with cell suspension in a one-to-one -one ratio. Cells are then counted using a hemocytometer. Based on the cell count, the suspension is then diluted to a density of 500,000 cells per mil. Preparing the spheroid plate. Prepare the square petri dish ready to form the spheroids by adding sterile PBS to the bottom lid of the Petri dish. This will help to minimise evaporation of medium surrounding the spheroid. Using an additional Petri dish, add the cell suspension to a slightly angled lid. Using a multi-channeled pipette, pipette 20 microliters of the cell suspension onto the top lid of the square petri dish, ensuring not to position the spheroids too close to one another or too close to the edge of the plate. Carefully flip the lid and replace on the bottom of the dish. Harvesting spheroids for the CBMN assay. Carefully remove the box containing multiple spheroid plates, originally seeded four days previously. On the third day post-seeding, plates were removed from the incubator, flipped and six microliters of fresh cell culture medium added to each individual spheroid hanging drop using a multi-channel pipette. 
To harvest the spheroids, carefully flip open the lid and collect the individual spheroids using a pipette tip. Once they have been collected, the spheroids are then centrifuged. Following centrifugation, a pellet of spheroids should be visible. The supernatant is then discarded. The pellet of spheroids is then resuspended in PBS. Following the PBS wash, the spheroids are then trypsinized to individualized cells and are taken forward to the fixation procedure for the cytokinesis blocked micronucleus assay.